What is the realistic time for a caretaker to fill out the task form daily? Do it, it depends on how long the checklist is. Uh, for fire extinguishers, I'll show an example of one of my preventative maintenance that I have. So I've got a fire extinguisher here, it's my checklist. We have that link on. So I'm able to click and it goes straight to our checklist. This could be the state's uh, checklist where that employee goes through in real time, enters their information. But depending on how long the checklist is, is how long it's going to take that person to actually go through. But for mine, there's quite a few items to do. I would say it would be about four or five minutes. I can add items and then all they do is hit submit. It will save the checklist for you. So you can either print it, download it, or if we go back to the system itself, it would actually be sit under the documents tab. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Daniela, uh, okay. She, um, Daniela says, commenting on what Eric meant, uh, when you select various tasks to print list, the first sheet does, not, does have the task number on the top, but the following, following don't. That's what she meant. Um, so we can yeah. probably take a look at that, Daniela, um, yeah, quickly. That would be something yeah, with the support, I would feel. Yeah, I think that's running. I, I'm going to take a note of that, and we're going to come back with some information about that because I'm not sure mm -hmm. what needs to be done there. Um, Martin. My suggestion. You, just, go ahead. Hold on, Dino. My suggestion to that, if there is, the, the numbers aren't appearing at the top, go for the list of you because then you will be able to differentiate the task numbers because they're on the left. It adds everything from the work order in this list as well. It's just a summarized view of it.